Hey YouTube. Uh, thanks to the new subscribers. I know. Uh, give me a give me a bit of time, and I'll, I'll eventually stop saying that. But I do appreciate it. But yeah, we're doing a quick review on this uh, miter saw. It is from Mastercraft. Um, I don't have the box. I've had it for five or six years, so I'm not sure the model. But it is a a dual bevel uh, sliding compound miter saw. Um, I have done a lot of work with this thing, and um, it's a 10 inch, right? There is some things that I do not like about this thing, and I'll get right into it. It's not, you know, it's not a lot that I don't like, but it's enough. Um, the numbers here. These numbers, um, I mean, they're, they're just put on with, a, like, I got uh, clear tape put over this to try and keep numbers on there. Because not all the time do you, you, you know, you go from 90 degrees, well, zero degrees, and there's, you know, it clicks in at 22 and a half, uh, 45, right? But everywhere in between, well... When there is no numbers, you're just guessing with the feet where it locks in, right? You know, you pull the thing, you up, you know, so that would be zero or 90, whatever way, whatever way you want to look at it. I did write the numbers down here as well, because as you can see, the numbers are missing here, right? I even put some uh, painter's tape and put down marked it but that comes off as well so it, the machining when you put this slide this back and forth it's it's a little too sloppy is what i'll say and uh, it kind of teeter totters right as you turn it sometimes it, it goes back and forth and it scrapes here that's one thing the second is the uh well you see that this is the wiring for the the laser right and the uh, laser goes in there right <laughs> right focus goes there well i mean the genius that figured i'll uh, put that laser right there uh I mean, not, he must be as dumb as I am. <laughs> because as soon as the minute you're cutting, where do everything go? It goes right there. Because when you cut the saw down, that's, that's exactly where all the, uh, the sawdust is going. Right? So, I mean, it didn't last no time. Because you cut some, especially if it was um, pressure treated and it was not... Full, like fully dry you know how pressure treated is right it's, it's got that when you get halfway through it is sometimes it can be a little gummy right and that just goes up there so you you're you know picking that off so the you know the the laser can shine through and the more you the more you fill with it the worse it gets right so that's two things right there that I don't like. Now, the fence is not too bad. Um, in, in my opinion, the fence is a little too high. Because when you're sliding back and forth, and, and you know, I understand that a lot of saws is like that. You know, you, you got a nice high fence so that, you know, you can put thicker things on or wider things i understand that but with this one they designed it with uh you know the big big lip here big knob um from the sliders i think that the slider could have been a little skinnier so that you wouldn't have to take up so much room so that when you slide the saw this here will hit this right and you really gotta 
it's fine for straight cuts or uh you know up to 22 or 21 and a half or whatever 22 and a half but any more than that when you turn the saw and it's going to hit this so you gotta you know it's not a gone do this but you still gotta unscrew the damn screw back here and move it anyway uh, that's like i say that that comes with different saws but um the bag for the dust uh that don't that don't catch jack shit that's what that catches that wouldn't even catch the covid as far as i'm concerned but i mean if you're doing a lot of cutting usually you have a uh a shop vac hooked up anyway but still i mean you would think that this thing would do a better job but it don't so uh that's the review of it pretty much um i don't like to get in and you know talk about go on and on and on well that's a joke because i can i can make a turn a long video as they say i can turn a uh a short story into a long one but but if you're thinking about the saw um hopefully the newer ones newer ones got the the laser put somewhere different but uh overall it is a good saw it has a lot of power um you know i i kind of forces it which you shouldn't but uh, sometimes you know if you got you're cutting up the ends off of stuff just because you know you took something apart you're just cutting the ends off to keep in the rest uh yeah so you got lots of power the adjustment screw right here that works pretty good uh the sliding you know it's it's okay uh if, but for the diy guy uh it is pretty good it didn't come with stand by the way um but uh you know if you if you don't mind the little imperfections like i say i mean the the, the degrees back here um they are actually uh accurate so that's a good thing so yeah if you're thinking about the soft mass craft uh, canadian tire crappy tire whatever you want to call it then uh you know for the money it'll serve you well i think 